Hi everybody, I'm Spencer Myers with Ag Dealer TV. I'm here at Woodstock, Ontario at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show and I'm here with Sean Ganley from CNF Green Energy. What they do is they create wind turbines and now you're probably used to seeing huge, large scale turbines all throughout the fields. This is a little different and Sean's going to tell us a bit about it. Thanks Spencer, yeah, delighted to be here. So it's our first time in Canada. Our first time uh, entering the market here, so it's our launch uh, in this particular market. Delighted to be here at mm -hmm. the Outdoor Farm Show in Woodstock, Ontario. Another beautiful morning here. Yeah. So uh, what we're bringing is a small and medium-sized wind turbine. So mm -hmm. wind energy is not the sole preserve of the megawatt guys, the industry yes. level guys uh, running utility scale wind farms. Mm -hmm. We feel that farmers, particularly those in the dairy sector, livestock, poultry, um, hog farms, etc., mm -hmm. uh, the farmers with the highest energy bills, uh, Yes. can utilize power on their own site from their own wind turbine. So what we build, design and manufacture in Ireland at our factory there is a 10 kilowatt to 250 kilowatt range of wind turbines okay. uh, for every application. Yeah. Um, we have all sizes in between. Uh, what we've got behind us here is a 25 kilowatt wind turbine. Um, so what we've done is taken the technology of the big guys, the megawatt machine, Spencer, and miniaturized that. To yeah. So this is a little bit smaller, you were saying, not, not like the big ones that people in Western Canada are used to seeing. Is this really popular? Is this taking off in Europe? It's hugely popular in Europe, hugely popular in Southeast Asia, in the Japanese market in particular. Uh, we would be the market leaders across a number of markets in, in Europe and into yeah. the Far East. Um, but uh, we've installed, I guess, 1,500 machines worldwide, um, mm -hmm. 50 million operational hours on our fleet of machines. And it's primarily sold to, to farmers, but also to businesses, um, office parks, campuses, schools, hospitals, you name it. Anyone that's looking for distributed power, an energy solution for their own site, if they have a suitable site, a yeah. uh, suitably windy site, that is. So what are some of the best operations that you see it working in Canada? M mostly agricultural, or do you see it going beyond the agricultural market here? We do see it going beyond the agricultural market, but the agricultural market has been our mainstay. Farmers mm -hmm. have been our primary customers in every market that we've entered initially. Yeah. But then it tends to broaden out to all types of landowners, all types of business owners, public and municipal customers, etc. But in terms of the, the people really looking for an energy solution, as I say, dairy farmers, livestock, livestock farmers, poultry houses, mm -hmm. piggeries, those kind of guys, even tillage farmers looking to grain dry, um, there, there are a whole host of applications and different types of machines to, to meet their needs. So this is very much smaller. What exactly is the radius of the blades? How big is this machine? Yeah, the machine here, the 25 kilowatt behind us, you're looking at a 43 foot rotor diameter. Okay. It's 13.1 meters. 20 meter tower, approximately 65 feet in height to the hub so that's height. very reasonable size. It doesn't seem like it would be an eyesore on your farm. It seems like no. it could almost blend in and fit right there, right? Exactly. As yeah. opposed to a, a lot of the megawatt scale stuff, which yes. attracts a lot of nimbyism, not in my backyard attitude mm -hmm. and these tend to blend in with the farmscape the landscape their their grain silo height if you will mm -hmm. so it's something that that fits in with with the landscape mm -hmm. and doesn't become a blot on the horizon yes. um, so and it's there for for the farmers own utilization first and foremost yeah. uh, so even neighboring farms neighboring buildings t tend to have no issue with that whatsoever yes. so it, it's a good reaction so if a farmer in Canada was interested in putting one of these on their land how would they get a hold of you and get it on there so CNF Green Energy, right now we're setting up our, our distri distribution network right across Canada. So we're, what we look for are companies that will resell the product, install it and service the machine over the lifetime, which is 25 years by the way. Okay. Um, so we are currently building that network of dealers right across the country. They will install your mach machine, come and do an annual service on it. Yeah. And annual servicing, maintenance on these is very simple. Mm -hmm. They're hydraulically tilted, so okay. our tower will tilt into position. And oh. in terms of servicing, we don't need a crane or cherry picker. We just drop that machine down to you, and you can do the work at ground level. That's going to make some people really happy. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. We much appreciate it. Thanks, Spencer. Thanks. Cheers. For Angular TV, I'm Spencer Myers.